Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I am going to explain you tunnel diode that is also required as Isaki diode. Before I start with explanation, let me show you how many things that I am going to cover in this video. So first, I will be explaining you basics of tunnel diode. After that, I will explain you how structure and energy band diagram that is there with semiconductors which we will be using it in tunnel diode. So here in tunnel diode we will be using higher doping concentration with P type and N type material. So that I will explain you along with energy band of it. After that I will explain you structure and energy band diagram of tunnel diode in which we will be having P N junction. So for that I will explain you energy band diagram. After that I will explain you working of tunnel diode and based on working I will show you how we can have characteristics of tunnel diode. And at last, I will be discussing about advantages, disadvantages and applications of tunnel diode. So, let us try to understand first how symbol is there with tunnel diode. So, symbol of tunnel diode that is similar to normal PN junction diode symbol. Only one difference is there. You can observe here at the side of cathode, we do not have straight line. Instead, in tunnel diode, line is like this. So, this is the basic symbol which is there with tunnel diode. Now let us try to understand basics of tunnel diode. So you should know tunnel diode that was invented by Leo Isaki in 1957 and based on his name this diode is also referred as Isaki diode. He have received Nobel in 1973 based on his invention right. So Leo Isaki have invented it and based on that he have received Nobel based on say. This tunnel diode is heavily doped PN diode which exhibits fast switching characteristics. So here we are using tunnel diode which is heavily doped PN diode right and due to higher doping concentration in semiconductor material we are having narrow depletion width. So here you will be observing in tunnel diode we provide extreme doping concentration compared to normal PN junction diode. And as doping concentration is high, depletion width that is narrow over here with this given PN junction tunnel diode, right. It is used for high frequency applications and in high frequency applications we use it as oscillator and amplifier, right. And this tunnel diode that is working at low power and it also exhibits negative resistance characteristics. So all these points that I am going to explain you in great detail in this video itself. Now let us move on to structure and energy band of semiconductors in tunnel diode. In tunnel diode we use higher looping concentration with N type and P type material. And because of that there are few basic things that you should know regarding energy band diagram. Let me show you what will happen. So here you can observe I have written P++ means extreme doping concentration that is there with P type material and here I have mentioned N++ means higher doping concentration that is there with N type material. Here if you observe energy band diagram of P type then you can observe this is conduction band and this is valence band and by this blue color line I am showing Fermi energy level of this P type. See basically what happens is with intrinsic semiconductor Fermi energy level that will be there at center and as you add doping concentration of P type that Fermi energy level that will get shifted towards valence band. But if you increase doping concentration with higher concentration then what will happen? This line that will get more inclined towards valence band and as extreme concentration is there with P type this line is going inside of this valence band. So that is what you need to understand. See for normal concentration, this Fermi level that will be nearer to valence band, but that does not go inside valence band. But here this Fermi level is going inside valence band. Why? The reason is extreme higher concentration is there. If you observe N++ in that you see Fermi energy level that is going inside conduction band. Practically what happens? Line will be there at center in between this conduction and valence band. As you increase doping concentration as per pentavalent impurities by making it to n type, 
that line will get shifted towards conduction band right but here this line is going inside conduction band why the reason is here doping concentration is very high right so higher doping concentration that we use it with n type and p type semiconductor material now i'll explain you what will happen as if we diffuse these two material together internal diode we diffuse p and n material together and that forms depletion region here in tunnel diode that depletion region width that is very slim why the reason is doping concentration of p and n type material is very high and based on that there are few interesting things that is happening with respect to energy band let us try to understand that first so here if you observe p plus plus and n plus plus material that we are diffusing together and here we are forming junction and at junction at the side of p type there will be negative ions as it will be accepting electrons and at the side of n type there will be positive ions as it will be donating electrons so here there will be generation of ions and this region is depletion region width of this depletion region is very narrow over here why the reason is doping concentration is very high right and based on that if you want to understand how energy band is there then you see this is conduction band energy and this is valence band energy right and here energy deviation due to this depletion region that is q into vbi where vbi is built in potential right and if you observe here fermi energy level so that i have shown by this black color ef now here there are few basic things that you need to understand before you go for working see here ec that is conduction band energy and this is ef that is fermi energy level if you observe things at the side of n type then see in this vicinity in this vicinity what do we have in this vicinity we do have electrons right in n type we are having excessive electrons as per doping concentration so in between this two energy level extreme number of free charge carriers are there and those are electrons at the side of n type if you talk about p type side then in that if you observe here in between see this green color that shows you ev in between ev and ef here we are having excessive charge carriers and those are holes this excessive charge carriers are holes over here in between these two energy state now see based on these holes and electrons there will be tunneling effect and that i'm going to explain you in working so let us see how working is there to understand working of tunnel diode i'll explain you tunnel diode in forward bias so to keep tunnel diode in forward bias what i'll do is i'll keep this diode as per anode terminal is connected with positive terminal of battery and cathode is connected with negative terminal of battery and here we will be applying forward bias voltage vd and because of vd we will see how much id current that passes through this tunnel diode so let us keep this vd voltage zero initially so as if it is zero i have told you that in energy band diagram see fermi energy level that will be like this right and see this band in energy due to this depletion region that will be q into vbi now what happens is as if you increase forward bias voltage if you increase forward bias voltage then this depletion region width that will get decrease right if you increase forward bias voltage depletion region width will decrease as if depletion region width will get decrease what will happen this band in energy that will also decrease how much it will be decreased as per q into vbi minus v where v is forward bias voltage so as you increase forward bias voltage this red color bending of energy that will get decreased and its value will become q into vbi minus v now what i'll do is i'll be going to increase this vd voltage from zero so initially it is zero now i'm increasing up to v1 v1 is some small amount so you see what is happening here 
if you observe this black color line right this black color line you see that is getting bent over here you can observe here this black color line that is getting bent you see again i am drawing it so that it will be visible to you so how much bending is happening you see it is getting bent it is getting bent by this much amount right and that amount is how much q into v1 right now as i have told you at the side of n type at the side of n type what we have here we are having here we are having electrons and at the side of p type what we what do we have we are having holes over here right so as you apply small forward voltage you see here electrons here electrons which are there at n side that is having energy state which is equivalent to holes which are there at p side so now what will happen is here there will be tunneling here there will be tunneling of charge carriers right so electrons will get tunneled over here electrons will get tunneled so there will be flow of tunneling right so you can say electrons are getting tunneled over here and that will get recombined with holes over here right so there will be tunneling current which will flow due to small value now here what i'll do is i'll mention that in characteristics in parallel so as if v1 is the voltage then small current i1 let us say small current i1 that flows over here right small current i1 that flows over here now see what will happen from v1 to v2 now we are increasing a voltage a little bit so what will happen further bending will decrease over here right and that will go up to q into vbi minus v2 so now you see by this black color you can observe this bending is increasing right now if you observe here this this black color bending now that is getting how much q into v2 and as i have told you here what we have here we have electrons and here we are having holes right here we are having holes so again if you observe here still tunneling current is flowing still tunneling current is flowing and here tunneling current here tunneling current that is maximum why the reason is see this efn that is aligned to ev and this efp that is aligned to ec so here maximum maximum tunneling that is happening right so maximum tunnel current that flows over here why the reason is see this holes and electrons free charge carriers those are aligned to each other both are having equal energy state so as if both are having equal energy state they can easily recombine to each other so because of that there will be tunneling current right so here see maximum tunneling current will flow so let me note down that in characteristics at v2 maximum current flows let us say it is i2 right now i'm just mentioning the points right now let us try to understand what will happen as if you increase further voltage so from v2 let us increase voltage up to v3 right so what will happen now you see see this alignment of ev now see this is going bit up right this is going bit up so what will happen you see here we are having what here we are having electrons here we are having electrons here we are having holes here we are having holes right now if you observe see this alignment if you observe this alignment right so that is further increasing right now it is this much right it is q into it is q into v3 now if you observe see there is a tunneling current there is a tunneling current there is tunneling current like this but because of now energy state is having little bit less match see initially there was less match then you have been increasing voltage up to maximum match there was maximum tunnel current now if you further increase the voltage tunneling current will decrease why the reason is electrons energy state 
Now that is it. That is increasing compared to Hohl's energy state. So still there is a tunneling current. But now relatively tunneling current that is decreasing from here onwards. Right. So if you talk about flow of current, you see at V3, now current is decreasing. Right. So it is decreasing up to some value. Let us say it is decreasing up to this. Right. Over here. Now, if you further increase the voltage, what will happen? If you further increase the voltage, you see. If you further increase the voltage, then see here by this black color, you can observe the band. Right. So this is how much? This is Q into V4. And if you observe, this is where we are having electrons. This is where we are having electrons. And this is where we are having holes. Right. Now, if you talk about energy state of electrons and holes, so that is getting mismatch from this onwards. Right. So what will happen? Now, there will be no tunneling current. Right. So here, almost you can say tunneling current that is getting zero. After that, you can say now tunneling current is zero. Right. So when tunneling current is getting zero, you can say here there will be least current that will flow. Right. Now after that, once tunneling current is getting zero, what will happen? After tunneling current is getting zero, if you increase further voltage, then there is no tunneling current. But because of voltage, there will be flow of current. So after V4, if you increase the voltage, after V4, if you increase the voltage, then that diode will act like a resistor or you can say it will be acting like a normal PN junction diode. Right. So here if I want to draw characteristics, if I want to draw characteristics, you see from 0 onwards, from 0 onwards. So let us say this is O, this is point O, this is point A, this is point B, this is point C and this is point D. Right. So from 0 to A, there will be flow of current. Right. And that will be tunneling current only. From A to B, we are having maximum tunneling current. From A to B, we are having maximum tunneling current. From B to C, what happens? Now, tunneling current will decrease. From B to C, now tunneling current will decrease. You can observe here, it is decreasing. Now, from C to D, tunneling current is getting zero. Tunneling current is getting zero. And from D onwards, as if you increase voltage, then what will happen? From D onwards, if you increase the voltage, diode will be working like a normal PN junction diode. Right. Diode will be working like a normal PN junction diode. So here, there are a few interesting things that you need to note down. You see, from B to D, if you increase the voltage, from B to D, B to D, if you increase the voltage, if you increase the voltage, what happens? Current is decreasing. Right. Current is decreasing. What it means? It means, it means we are having negative resistance. Right. It means we are having negative resistance characteristics. Right. And see, this operation of tunnel diode that we use it in negative resistance region only. Why the reason is? in that reverse recovery time is very less and as if reverse recovery time is very less you can say operational speed is very fast right and that is what we wanted to have so here in between b to d negative resistance characteristics that is there so based on characteristics i think now we can understand advantages disadvantages and applications of tunnel diode so let us see first how many advantages are there with tunnel diode so see, tunnel diode is having long life. Why the reason is, tunnel diode operates at lower power only. And based on that, you can say its life is even longer. High speed operation is there with tunnel diode. Usually we use tunnel diode in negative resistance characteristics where reverse recovery time of diode is very less. So here you will be observing its switching speed that is very fast due to less reverse recovery time. So high speed operation is there with tunnel diode. It is having lower noise and it is having lower power consumption. Usually we operate tunnel diode at low power only, right? When we talk about disadvantages, then you should know tunnel diode cannot be fabricated in large numbers. 
why the reason is in tunnel diode we use highly doped p and n type material so in that it is bit difficult job to have mass production right here input and outputs are not isolated from each other see it is two terminal device and as i have told you at very less forward bias voltage there is a tunneling current we have seen that in working right at very less forward voltage at very less forward voltage there is a tunneling current right so as if something is coming back like see it is a two terminal device and there can be back current in circuits so as if back current is coming in that case there is a possibility of damaging of diode right so that is one disadvantage and that disadvantage is there based on isolation. Usually we isolate inputs from output, right? But that is a bit difficult job over here for tunnel diode. It is having lower output voltage swing that I have already told you, right? Like here output voltage swing that will be very less in terms of 1.1 voltage you will be getting that output voltage swing with tunnel diode. As if we talk about applications, then we use it in RF and microwaves. Right. So, in radio frequency, in microwave, we use tunnel diode. Usually, majority of applications are there based on switching, based on amplifier, based on oscillator. But all those things that we perform at very high frequency as switching speed of tunnel diode is very fast. So, this is all about tunnel diode. I hope you have understood this. Still, if anything that you would like to share, please note it down in the comment section. I will be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.